So before we get there, I was going to choose a lot. I think I'm going to go in, start off with the good old Rooney slapper. Give it a go. So we're going to be fishing over the uh, sand. So, and there might be a little bit of weed on the beach. So this won't pick too much up with the uh, yeah weedless hook. Got a little weight, I know there's plenty of other lures there. We got a yeah, little weight there. Got a little, uh, clip tool, pop that on there. Like so. No hook exposure. You don't even pop it in like that. And that's perfect for a bass to munch on. Let's get down to the beach and let's see what we can do. So we're making our way down to the mart now. Just bear with me as well this morning, guys. I've uh, yeah, forgotten my uh, light that connects to my uh, tripod. So until daylight, it's going to be, yeah, a bit here or there with the film. You should be able to see pretty well what I'm doing here with my head torch. We've got our lighthouse head torch. Very, very uh, good um, torch. There's absolutely, I don't even see that guys. So it's absolutely covered in flies. So we put the head torch off, get down there. So hopefully the bass will come in on this. They're everywhere. <laughs> right, let's get our first cast in. So if you missed it earlier, choosing that Rooney's lure. Soft plastic, weedless. Pop that out there. The trick to fishing in the dark, I find, it's spinning really, really slowly. And that's normally where you pick the bass off. Because the bait fish normally in the dark, a bit docile. But it is really shallow, probably fishing about a foot, a two foot of water. So catching a bass in this kind of terrain is not going to be the easiest to uh, bring in. But when we do hook into a bass, we'll uh, worry about that when it happens. I say we just have to be a little bit careful that tide because it's going to come up super, super quick. And so I'll video as much as I possibly can. But uh, yeah, another half an hour, 45 minutes, light will be coming up. So I don't want my torch on too. Look any fish that are coming up the bay. So yeah, I say I'll film what I can. Yeah, hopefully there's a few in here this morning. Well, it's been slow going so far, guys. There's just so many people around. Cause with the Bass Festival, there's people fishing everywhere. So I mark I was trying, I had one little tap, but the tide was like, a little bit too low. So I've come to the other side of the bay for a little bit, just so the tide floods in a little bit more. And then we'll go back to that mark. And then you can see over there, daylight's just starting to come. You probably ain't picking it up on the GoPro. Yeah, tide's just starting to... Uh, Flooding in a bit quicker now. Oh, oh so the hit then guys. So the tap. We changed over to the uh, half heel now. Giving that a little go. So yeah, I hope that does the business. I say it's gotta be so careful that tide. If you're not watching before you know you can get cut off so quick on a big spring tide. It does not take long. We've got a nice little bit of tide run here. Oh, oh, what's that? Bit of weed, I would have said. That's filled with braid line. You can feel every little knot. But yeah, fingers crossed we can hook into at least one bass this morning. I was in an hour and where to go. I decided to try this mark. We'll be out again. Hopefully I'll be able to get a good a number of videos for you in the next uh, week or so. I'll be out again this afternoon, chucking lures. We'll be going on the low water this afternoon somewhere. That's a nice thing with the big spring tides. You can venture to marks that you haven't fished for a while. You can only get to them on the big, uh, big, big tides. I'm gonna have this cast here, I'm gonna have to move on. Don't want to uh, risk it too much. Especially out here on my own. Come on you basils, where are you where are you hiding that? There we are guys, fish on. I've just changed over to a surface lure. Literally, first cast, bang, we're into a schooly bass. 
My fingers are fast anyway, yeah, it's definitely a school day. Only a tiddler. But yeah, it shows the old surface there still in the it's not pretty uh pretty daylight, yeah. What is this? It's a garfish. That's not what we wanted. Great. <laughs> Take on the surface there. Brilliant. Well, that's the start, I suppose. Not the start we wanted, but it's a fish. So there we are, one horrible garfish. That's not what we wanted. We've got the well, it's not really the fish we wanted to start off the session, that garfish. I thought it was a bass. At first, literally, the surface there hit the water. And uh, yeah, he was literally onto it. But if we're going to get that pestered with garfish, we'll uh, go and move Mark. Don't want to be hampered with them. Must have literally right landed right on his head. But yeah, with the uh, surf stones retrieving it nice and slowly, twitching the rod. I thought I'd just give it a go because nothing else has worked. And normally this mark is really, really good for the bass, but obviously not the earth's morning. Something's coming up, to be honest, the tides are racing. But I'll have a few more flicks here, guys, and if nothing else happened, we'll go behind, um, behind the tip and see if we can hook a bass at that side. And yeah, we'll be out again if we don't. Nice roll to the uh, water, nice little bit of chop, perfect conditions. Just whether the bass want to play ball. Just coming up behind us there. It's going to be a cracking day. Yeah, fish on guys. I just had a um, fish last cast hit me. Cast exactly the same spot. Is this a or is it a ras? Hopefully it's a bass. And it is a whoa, it's a bass, I think. Where is he? Where is he? Yes, nice little bass guys. Where can we bring him up safely? Should be able to just bring him up. Oh, that line. There we are. It's a nice little start there. It's got hit uh, cast before. Changed over to the Savage Gear V2 in um, the uh, green collar. And yeah, two casts. And a second bass. Uh, first bass, sorry, getting ahead of myself. But well, a lovely little start. Happy days. Hopefully, it's a thing to come. And there's a few more bass in here. So there we are. One nice little bass, take on that Savage Gear V2. We're not going to waste any time with him. So there we are, one nice little bass. Probably about half a pound, but it's a start anyway. So hopefully it's thing to come. We can hook a few more, a little bit bigger, but a lovely start. So there we are, one little bass. Down here nicely. And he finds his bearing. Yeah, this is where we're fishing, guys. Tide's racing through here, all boulders you can see there. Tide's racing over the top of it, and the bass will be sat in amongst the boulders waiting. I cast straight out there, one hit, cast there, next hit, bang, and hit again by another bass. So it's nice. Little... Oh, lovely uh, background. Let's see if there's a few more in here.
Well, the bass are few and far between, that's for sure. Nothing else happened. I've seen goldfish uh, jumping out the water. But apart from that, just that one little bass so far. I'd have thought there'd have been a few more fish in there with the nice chop to the water, big tides. Still nice and overcast. That's the way fishing goes. Sometimes the fish are here, you'll get plagued with loads of fish. Yeah, sometimes you won't even get a touch. Oh, there's little as rats here. I think you can feel them hitting the back of the tail of the lure. Still got the Savage Gear V2 on. A few more chops here, and we might go back to where I first started the session. The tide would have come up quite nicely there, It'd be over the top of the boulders. Might be able to get one more bass before we call it a morning. Can't beat this though, half past six in the morning. Bass fishing, can't beat it. So that's going to bring another little uh, session to an end guys and that one bass this morning and that pesky long nose <laughs> but uh yeah so it's a blank so like i thought there would have been a few more fish here but you can only catch what's there bit of weed in the water here but nice to be back from uh holiday and back out on the rocks fishing so i hope you enjoy this little session like i said it'll be a lot more common i'll be out again this afternoon on the low water so hopefully we can have a little bit more luck but hopefully you enjoy this one guys if you have, please hit the like button, it helps the channel get out there. As you know, that'd be really appreciated. Subscribe if you are new around here, you want to see more content. So, giveaways coming. Get the last few little bits for it. 